Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to dive into automatic replies in Outlook email. This feature is great to use when you're going to be out of the office, for example, on vacation, and you want to let people know that you won't be able to reply right away. When they email you, they'll get an instant reply based on your customized message. Let's check it out. Okay, so first, let's look at this in Outlook Mail in the browser. I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge. We're going to log on at office.com. Then we're going to click on our app switcher and look for Outlook. Okay, so here I am in the Outlook Mail app. I'm going to go up to the top right corner and click on the settings icon or the gear icon. Then I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on mail here at the far left and we will see automatic replies. All right, so the first thing we need to do is turn on automatic replies. Once it's on, you have the other options now active. The first thing is you can choose to send the replies only during a specific time period. So we can check this box and I can specify the start date, the end date, and including an exact time of day as well. If you don't do this, then you'll have to remember to come back in here and turn automatic replies off when you're back in the office. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the specific time period. I will set my beginning date and I'll set my ending date. I'll start it at 8 a.m. and on the last day it will end at 5 p.m. Under that you have some other options such as block my calendar for this period, automatically decline new invitations for events that occur during this period, and you can also decline and cancel meetings during this period. Underneath that is where you compose your custom message. So whatever you write here will be the email message that is automatically sent to anyone who sends you an email during this out of office time. All right, once you've composed your message, there is one more option here, which is to only send replies to contacts. So that would be anyone in your list of contacts in your Outlook app. Otherwise, it will send to anyone who attempts to email you. All right, then all you have to do is click Save and you can close the window. All right, now let's look at this in the desktop version of Outlook. If you're using the new version of Outlook Desktop, let's go ahead and open this first. Okay, what you'll do is you will click on the settings icon just like in the browser web version of Outlook. However, this looks a little bit different. Instead of clicking mail, you're going to click accounts and you will find automatic replies. And here you can see we have the same options and look at that. It already has my custom message in there ready to go because it's under the same account. Now, what if you're in Outlook Classic? Let's go ahead and open that up. Some of you may still be running the classic or original version of Outlook Desktop. This will be a little bit different. To get to automatic replies, you're going to go to the file menu at the top left, and then you'll find automatic replies right here. And here you'll see a little bit different interface. We have the option to send automatic replies and we can click that radio button to activate that. And here we have the specified dates and times that we already set. And below that, you can customize your message as we've already done. Now, additionally, you do have a rules button down here at the bottom left. If you want to explore this, you can go in and set up rules that will be applied to in coming messages while you're out. So for example, you could add a rule and create an action that occurs when you receive an email from a specific person or that has a specific subject. For example, I might want to create an action for any email that comes in with the following subject, recital. And then I want to perform the following action. I would like to actually forward the email 
to a specific email address. I'll go ahead and type that in. Or I could do things like reply with a specific message, or I could copy the message to another person. I could move it to a folder. I could delete it or set up an alert. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK to save this. And there we see we have the new rule. Anytime an email comes in with the subject recital, forward it to this specific email address. And I'll click OK. All right, and then when you're done here, you just click OK to get out of this. And that is how you use automatic replies in Outlook Mail. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.